It seems like every day new pronouns are popping up and it's really hard to keep track of, right? And this video, we're gonna be looking at some TikTokers that, well, it seems like they've taken pronouns to a different level. And the question that comes up is, where does it end? There's been a lot of talk about pronouns this week. First with the ACLU valiantly defending the Loudoun County school system's right to force teachers to use the preferred pronouns of students. And then with the State oh. Department urging us all to join in celebrating International Pronouns Day. And as I said yesterday, it seems that it's, it's finally becoming apparent to most people on the right that this pronoun issue is not the sideshow that um, many once thought it was. No, it's I mean, a real it is, thing. For one thing, an thing. attack on our fundamental human liberties. The worst kind of attack, in fact. The hmm. problem with the pronoun policy in Loudoun County and with similar policies that are being adopted and will soon be adopted in other localities around the country, it's not simply that speech is being compelled, but specifically that false speech is being compelled. Oh, I mean, you can only have speech. freedom, real freedom in truth, which is why any attack on real freedom is also an attack on truth. And these are the implications. And I think, I hope that that's now obvious to most people on the right. But I also hope that anyone who was slow uh, on the uptake, you know, those who took a while to understand the real threat that all of this seemingly bizarre and fringe stuff poses to our society, I hope they won't make the same mistake with the clips that I'm going to play for you now. Because here we have uh, two more contributions to society from TikTok. Both videos feature young people, teenagers, taking the preferred pronoun concept to seemingly new extremes. In this okay. first one, we find out that uh, some of these kids are actually identifying as inanimate objects. Listen. Whoa. Hello. I am Doll. I am doll. one of our object alters. When I front... I find it very difficult to remember things that the body requires, such as how to move, how to blink, how to breathe, and how to speak. For the purpose of filming this video, I have Meredith co-conscious with me, so that I will not mess up. However, this is the third take, the first two, I forgot to breathe and or speak. I hope this helps you learn. She's acting, right? Or is she actually identifying now, as a doll? Doll here has not invented the doll pronoun concept. In fact, a handy resource is the website pronoune.xyz, which lists and explains all of the different alternative pronouns currently in existence. And there are a lot of them. Pages and pages, hundreds oh, and hundreds. Wow. From the very first page, hundreds. you can see that um, if you go there, it's apparently popular now to identify as an emoji. Many of the pronouns aren't words at all, but pictures. Other pronouns include um, poison, poisons, poisons, and poison self. I assume those are big pharma's pronouns. Please respect them. Also, <laughs> fae, fairy, fair, fairies, fairy self, kitty, fairy self. kitties, kitty self, star, okay. star, star self, star, star, and star slow, self, sloth, star self. sloth self, and on Sloth and self. There's also Dem, there. Demon, Demons, Demon Self. And if you're wondering what a self-identifying demon looks like, well, you're in luck. Hi, my name's Jasper. I use they at pronouns. Hi, my name's okay. Liana. I use they demon pronouns. This demon video pronouns. is how to use our pronouns. So we're going to basically present three sentences. Um, one of them is going to have one pronoun, the other one's going to have the other pronoun, and then the last one is going to have both pronouns interchanged. So Liana uses they, them pronouns and demon pronouns. So the first sentence would be, Liana is my partner, they are cute, and I am theirs. I love them very much, and I hope they love themselves too. For the demon pronouns, it would be, Liana is my partner, Deem is cute, and I belong to Deem. I love Deem Demon very okay. much, and I hope Deem loves Demon self too. Then interchanging the two would be, Liana is my partner, they are cute, and I am Deem's. I love Demon very much, and I hope they love Demon self too. Okay. She, she, that, she's going to be a linguistics professor. When that, that's, that's, this is what, what, this is what um, grammar... Teaching language and grammar. That's what, that's what it's going to be pretty soon. Yeah. And there yeah. is something Hard very to keep on the nose for about me. this. In fact, in the Gospels, when Jesus encountered demon-possessed people, they would sometimes go by they, them pronouns because there was more than one demon infesting the person. 
And so we may be able to draw some connections and analogies here. But I'm afraid that a lot of people on the sane side of the ideological spectrum might see this sort of thing and make the same mistake they made with gender ideology more broadly, assuming that it's kind of a this weird and wacky phase and it's not anything widespread or serious or worth our attention. Why, why are we even paying attention? This is just TikTok. Who cares? And in saner times, you know, in a culture that hadn't already sunk below the surface and into the icy depths of full-on insanity, that would wow. probably be the right That's reaction. After all, demon self over there is really just a goth kid trying to be edgy, right? We had those when I was a teenager. The only difference is that now TikTok exists, so they have this unfortunate vehicle to publicize and advertise these embarrassing phases. Except that's not the only difference. The other difference, and it's a big one, is that we now live in a society that validates, legitimizes, and encourages these alternative identities. Now, when I was a kid, the adults would tell the goth kids that they were going through a phase, they need to snap out of it, or they're never going to be able to get a job or a girlfriend, right? That's what the adults used to say to kids going through these kinds of phases. Now the adults stand off on the sideline in cheerleader uniforms and pom-poms, sometimes literally cheering the kids on in their delusions. Different culture, though. What would though. otherwise be a phase, what would be something that makes them look back in a few years and cringe, now becomes an identity. The meaningless is transformed into the meaningful. The effect is that a generation of kids, soon to be multiple generations, have been plunged into mass psychosis. We are not merely validating mental illness, but creating it. Whoa. What would be Whoa. a phase instead becomes the kernel of a debilitating lifelong identity crisis. And our culture is there with the water cans, making sure that those seeds are germinated. There's not going to be any awakening moment for these kids, or at least there need not be. I hope there is, but there's nothing that would cause that to happen. Because we used to say, well, wait until you get into the real world, and uh, that'll be a wake-up call, because the real world doesn't work like this. But there is no real world anymore, not according to the people who run our society. There is no reality. Everything's subjective. Everything is malleable. Nothing is solid. There's no firm ground to stand on. Right. Okay. Mass psychosis. A generation driven into madness before they're old enough to drive a car. That's one way to look That's at it. Face. Nothing less. And I think we need to start treating this like the major problem that it clearly is. All right, guys. I see two things here. One, where Matt Walsh, he is looking at it from a traditional standpoint of, this is how society used to go, this is how it was before, so it should always be like that. And if something else comes up, then it's bad, then it's a problem. And th that's one of the mentalities I have an issue with, with the right. But when it comes to the left now, they have some good points, but I do have some issues there as well. So for instance, people don't necessarily wanna just be stuck with the labels that they're given right? You know, you, you are, you should be like this goth. Oh, that's just a phase. No, no, no. Get out of that. Get out of that. And people are like, no, no, I want to own this. Okay. You know, I'm going to own this. I'm going to come up with my own terms, my own language, my own lingo, and I'm going to be goth if I want to. And what you're going to do. Okay. Now for me, that is great because that is a form of liberation. And I don't, think that anyone should just be stuck with one particular societal norm or label that's put on them. And if they steer out, then, oh, it's some big deal. And, it, you know, it's a problem for society when individuality and who you want to be, who you want to create yourself to be, the life that you want to live, how you want to present yourself in the world is a choice. There's not necessarily good or bad per se when it comes to, you know, how you want to dress and the kind of labels that you wanna put on yourself. Now it can get a little messy. And this is where I think the left goes a little too far where, okay, well, w what are now the defined rules here? Like for example, if I went by what my name means, Leroy, it means the king, I'm gonna identify as the king. You can only address me as the king. That is it, that I'm the king, I'm the king. You know, that can get confusing now when we go out into the world 
and people are looking at like, oh, the king is coming, the king. Th but that's literally what my name means. I can just say, nope, don't call me Leroy, call me the king. Okay, well, <laughs> that may not go down so well if I <laughs> start declaring that publicly. You're gonna, you know, call me the king and I, I'm, you must announce it loud, the king, right? No, but <laughs> we, we say, okay, well, you know, call me my, my Call me by my name, Leroy. Okay, and usually people don't necessarily have a problem with that, but that th these are some clearly defined rules that we have. I'm not gonna go out and identify as a king because there are implications of what that term king means in the current state of society that we live in. And I don't wanna muddy that up, That that's fine. You know, king can be used for a ruler. A king doesn't need to be identified as me. I can think myself as a king, I am a king. <laughs> But, you know, so you see, you see what I mean, though, when we can take language, we can take words like demon, call me a demon, you know, I'm demon, and it can kind of get a little bit muddied up for people, you know, the, the left seems like oftentimes that they don't necessarily understand that, that point, whereas the right is like, stick with this, that is all you need to do and that's that anything outside of that you're crazy you're insane and you don't know what's good for you so the right it's like they try to box you in and boxes have purposes they have structures right you need some rules regulations law and order that people agree on to govern society but at the same time over on the left you need the ability to express yourself in unique ways it's where we get art as you know and entertainment and culture people being free to express themselves in ways that help color the world and make it better right but at the same time, it's got to be kept in check a little bit, you know, at, l at least a little bit. You, there needs to be some clear defined rules on where this whole pronoun thing goes, because I'm kind of lost with it. You know, all the, the, this pronoun stuff and the, I'm going to lose track. And how am I going to be able to then communicate with somebody appropriately with the pronouns? All I know is he, she, they, them, you know, that's that's clear, you know masculine is he you know him feminine is she her and group is they them it's clear it's clear cut it's easy but until i think we have some new clear cut rules and regulations for all these pronouns it can definitely just run wild and nobody's going to know how to talk to anybody pretty soon so that's my two cents on this let me know what you think about this sound off down below if you made it this far leave a big thumbs up and i'll catch you beautiful people in the next video later